take the headphones off. Let's make sure we're live. And we are live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. Today is November 13th, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. A specific West Coast my time. And what we're doing today is an open discussion on relationships, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. We've done a few of these in the past, and uh, we had a request to do one again. And I think uh, it was, it's been a while since we did one, so um, it was about time we did another one. Uh, we will try to do these on a regular basis because uh, they are important. Okay. Um, just to give you guys an update while we wait for people to come into the stream i've changed our sound system for the live streams we're not using the big yeti mic right now we're using the lapel mic and i'm going through the computer okay hopefully the sound quality is okay this is the first time we're doing this live um, i've been trying it out today and this basically came about uh, because someone uh, posted a comment mentioning that they could help me out to try to figure this thing out and uh, recommended that I just do go through the lapel mic for the live stream. Uh, so thank you to the person I printed off uh, their instructions of what to do. So right now we're just running, uh, I kicked up the gain on the lapel mic and I'm running, running some kind of something available through simple OBS. Um, but he did give me instructions or settings that I should set through another filter that's it's an app that i have to load on and i loaded it on but it looks like adding it to this is going to be a little bit uh, take a little bit of work so i'll take uh, my own sweet time in doing that <laughs> okay when i when i get the time available i'll play around with it just the intro videos to, to set things up for like half an hour they're not like a two minute oh this is the way you do it click click done done right so I looked at a couple of articles and stuff, and you got to add on more things and stuff like this. So we'll play around with the sound a little bit. Hopefully the sound is okay. Um, I can also take this video into an editor and run a filter through it, but I'd rather not. It takes a lot of time. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes there's lag and stuff. Lord zombie fart. <laughs> How are you doing? I had bacon and egg for dinner today. Nice. Yummy. Yummy. I had cuckoo. Cuckoo, fried potatoes, that is very good. Hannah, how are you doing? Cyanide, welcome, welcome. WWG1, WGA, WWG1, WGA, WWG1, WGA. <laughs> I like saying your name, man. I, that one I can say, I don't have to pronounce it, I just read it. Eduardo, how are you doing? Today, I got radishes. We went to the farmer's market. Don't read my name. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Wigga one, wigga one, wigga, wigga one, wigga, wigga one, wigga, wigga one, wigga. How am I making stuff? No, I am baking stuffed peppers. Nice. Stuffed peppers are fantastic. We got two types of radishes. These are red. These are a little spicy. And these are the white ones. They're nice and sweet. I've been munching on these. Zare, how's it going, brother? Damn. Wow, this is a nice surprise. Evening, brother. I just started to watch the new Mandorian show as soon as I got your notification. Nice, nice. Where we go? Where we go, one? We go all. Is that what it is? Where we go, one? We go all. I like your username even more now, man. That's very good. I I didn't. I'd forgotten that the the new Mandorian or the Mandorian was coming out. Is it called the new Mandorian or the Mandorian? Um, Joe, Stevie Wave. Is it good? Have you watched any of it? I've heard it's supposed to be good. I watched the uh, Rick and Morty episode. That was fantastic, man. Season started. Yeah. I wish that we just dropped the whole thing in one shot, just binge it in one night and. Get a dose of Rick and Morty and be satisfied. How is the sound, gang? We're using a new system. It's outstanding. Nice. It's nothing like, like the Star Wars movies. Like. 
They're some of the worst movies I've seen. The Dolphin, hey Chicho, how are you doing? Doing good, brother. Or sister, of course. Doing very good. I just watched, started watching Green Arrow on Netflix. It's amazing. Cyanide, the first two seasons, one or two seasons, not bad. Enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it as long as you can. <laughs> Is it buffering? Are we buffering? I have to check it out. For me, it seems to be okay on this side. What does one do if their partner wants to always have sex, but the other person doesn't? Um, it's uh, if your libido is bad connection is it bad connection let's see hold on watching the new jeff goldberg series on disney plus i still need to watch watchman and rick and morty watchman is amazing so hannah are we do we have a bad connection is it buffering let's see i'm the, i'm connected through hard wire so let me know how uh, Lepido is bad. Lepido is bad connection. Wow. <laughs> is libido supposed to be not a not a good word to use? I don't know. It took uh, what do you call it? The sound just like goes in and out for me. Does it? Okay, hold on a second. Let me do this. Let me do this. I'm gonna take out. Me too. Sound goes in and out for me as well. Okay. Let me take out the compressor. Remove. I don't know how it's going to be. Close. So it was recommended that I use a compressor. Uh, so I put the compressor on there. Green Tech, how are you doing? Hello, friend. Hope you're good. I'm going to do it. Let me know how the sound is. I can hear you okay so far. Okay. How is the sound, Hannah? And Sleepy Wave? Is it... Uh, is it okay? I see the sound going on on my. Uh, did you take out? Take it out? I took out a compressor that I was running based on the specs that the person sent me. Sound is okay for me. Okay. Sound hasn't gone out at all for me. Okay. Sleepy waves, are you hearing us okay? I think it helped. Did it? Okay. So we're not going to run the compressor. Thanks for catching the technical issues that we might be having and we will be having because, you know, there's a lot to learn. In this. It's okay. It just sounds a little off from how you usually sound. Compressor threshold might be off. Kill the compressor. I like the normal volumes. Okay. I've had to kick up the gain on this, on the lapel mic, because it's a low-end lapel mic. So at some point, I'm going to get a high-end lapel mic. We're going to stick with the lapel mic, I think, try it out for a while. Uh, when it comes to just me sitting or in one position, maybe for the mathematics. For the cooking live streams, it's going to be, unless I get a wireless lapel mic and stuff like this, we're going to go have to go through the, uh, through the stand-up uh, mic, the Yeti, right? Because I need to be, be able to move around in the kitchen to do our stuff, right? So we'll play around. We'll play around. Uh, we can we can always adjust, and whenever we get an upgrade, hopefully, um, we'll be able to do some serious playing around. Uh, as for the question, uh, it was Hannah, I think, that asked it. Let me hook this on here. Um, when it comes to what you're snacking on tonight, ah, sleepy waves. Let me show you this. Hold on. Come on, get in there. There we go. <laughs> doesn't want to go in there. <laughs> I'm snacking on radishes. We picked these up at a farmer's market. They're big, right? This is a quarter, right? So it's really big, sweet radishes. And we cut the greens off of these. And I made mixed in them with uh, chopped up lettuce. And I made cuckoo. So the 
the greens, the ends of these, I turn into cuckoo and we're munching on those. And I'm munching on these. And these are red, red radishes. And they're a little bit more spicy, right? And this is one six. So these were really big, right? Like you can tell. They're the white one. It's really good. Really good. I love uh, fall fruit. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. Fall, oh, not fruit, fall veggies are amazing. I like, I like the root vegetables, right? And beets and potatoes and yams and radishes and turnips and stuff. So healthy for you. So healthy for you, right? In terms of uh, if your partner's libido is more or less than your libido, one thing you could do is uh, play around with uh, intimacy, right? If one partner likes in a lot of intimacy in in a certain way, and the other partner doesn't want as as frequent as intimacy as they do, maybe the partner would be into a different type of intimacy, right? So you can play around with a little a little bit, right? But what you ask Anna is uh, is uh, is a huge issue with many people when it comes to relationship. If you're lucky, you match your you match with your partner on your desire. If you're lucky, so that's one version. If you're lucky, your partner has certain experiences, you have certain experiences, you come together and your world expands. Right? So there's two lucky, right? There's one unlucky, not unlucky, but it takes more work is if the libidos, if you guys don't mesh on the intimacy level on that front, very heavy right then you have to experiment and keep in mind everything goes in cycle so one person's libido might be a lot higher than the other person for a while and then the libido sometimes comes down sometimes goes up higher so there's a frequency to this if you can't match up you might have to look into alternate ways of being if you want to stay with your partner right maybe open relationships is one way to go got to be comfortable with opening up a bit about it and experimenting yeah experimenting is huge Experimenting is huge. I would highly recommend uh, being open-minded in regards to sexuality. Really, it's it's extremely important. Uh, and this is something that you, you learn as you grow. When you're younger, most people, me, most everyone I know, uh, they weren't as open about their sexuality or understood their sexuality as well as they do as they get older right as you get older you realize you know you might have experimented certain things you realize what you really don't want to do and then you can explore or be open to new things which might be what it is that you want to do right so sexuality is a huge issue it's a huge issue right? it's personal it's intimate some people take sexuality as uh, intimacy as being uh, the bond that seals the deal. Some people take intimacy as being very casual, right? Saying, hey, I want to be intimate with this person. And you can be intimate on just a physical level, on a spiritual level, on a, on a um, what do you call it, intellectual level, right? In terms of your kinks, your fetishes, in terms of whatever right chicho i'm finally getting over being infatuated with someone i slept with months ago i'm surprised how long it took me to get over them yeah sleepy waves welcome welcome to welcome to humanity right welcome to humanity we have uh there there are things that suck us in right not sucker us in but drag us in right black ichan thank you for the follow why are you talking like that i'm just keeping a chill man i'm keeping we're keeping a very relaxed stream what are your thoughts on swinging yeah i know people and i have known people for i don't think swinging was a big thing when i was in i don't remember well i knew people that were sleeping around when i was younger right but they weren't really aware of the swinging culture swinging culture sort of 
entered my life, not personally, but my surroundings. Um, in early 20s, mid 20s, I started meeting more people that were into swinging and whatnot. Is it stressing? Is it stressing you out? Well, I get you. What type of what type of stuff do you like? Do you like the in your face? Do you like the da 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 da? Lots of noises. If you like that, maybe come to a cooking stream. I do lots of pots and pans and cooking noises. Sleep wave. I understand that. I've been hospitalized for mental issues. When I lost a girl I was heavy involved with for two years, yeah, it can be it can be insane. You can't sleep, you can't eat. Every now and then you get cold sweats. You can't really you compare every everybody else to them. When you're not with them, you're thinking about what they're doing. It's it's hard. I'm the kind of guy that puts mayo on my hot dogs. <laughs> I think it's surprising though because. This person expresses their boundaries from the start. What they have no interest in anything but being casual. I feel like I just projected this too much on them. Felt like I lost myself, which I find wild. I never experienced something so intense. Cool. Congratulations, by the way, Sleepy Wave. Really. People look for that. There are many people who never have that. In their lives, you should you should cherish it, right? Um, and all the, anyone that you know, people are their own boss, right? They we have to assume people know what it is that they're doing and why it is that they're doing and what their likes are, what their dislikes are. We have to give respect to people to assume that they know. However, if someone has never experienced something or never thought about something or never been exposed to a certain thought pattern how do they know they'll never want to try it when people say no this is the only stuff i want to try so it's always room to maneuver and say hey maybe we've been monogamous maybe we should experiment maybe we should take some time apart right i think humans are just social by nature and there's so many ways we develop uh, attachments to people we haven't even known long yeah for sure especially during periods of transition when we're transitioning because we go through cycles right through waves where all of a sudden you find that you really can't stand being around half the people you've been around for five years right and during those times when we're doing transitions where we're cleaning house Right, and you have to clean house every now and then to make room for new ideas, new people. Right, during those periods, we tag on, attach on to people that might be very different from us. It's a shock to lose someone you were so close to. It is for sure that can do it. I know someone who started off soft swinging, but it has escalated to the couple sleeping with other people when the husband goes out of town super steamy but i don't understand why they're still married at this point uh the question is uh whether whether fire 69 <laughs> right? the the question is when the husband goes out of town has the husband does the husband know what's going on and is he okay with it right if the husband has given the approval for this to happen i don't see any problems with that if they're doing it behind the husband's back then the poop's going to hit the fan at some point for sure right but if they given if the husband's okay with it, maybe the partner's libido is higher than the husband, so the husband says, "Get your satisfaction when I'm out of town," or the husband says, "Oh, you you enjoy yourself, and I'm going to go enjoy myself," and then we'll hook up. Right? I can sympathize with that sleepy way. So, sign. I can sympathize with that. I felt like the person I was, I was was gone, and I was just a cold shell now. But I can tell you, it gets better 100%. And uh, you can find yourself again. It's different for everyone how they find it, but you will. Yeah, I am, I'm with Sinai. Sleepy waves, you're not alone. The reason I'm being so lighthearted or light, light about what you, what you said, and I'm not really treating it lightly, is because I've been through it not once, but multiple times, right? 
feels like the world and to a certain degree but then you got to find yourself and get up and breathe and once you breathe you find release oh my god Ooh, what an amazing feeling and anger how are you doing thank you for the twitch prime sub brother uh i've been comparing everyone i meet to a girl that i never got past idol flirting with things were just perfect and maybe that's just a projection but it definitely feels like i've been chasing a high and constantly disappointed with others yeah you got to get out of that you got to get out of that there's a there's a movie i'll, I'll share you a, a movie uh, story it's called uh what was it called uh, Oh, I forget what it's called. It's a bunch of, it's a couple of, or a couple that, uh, uh, two couples that go into the, uh, they go on a cattle ranching thing. And one of the, and one of the cattle people, the main guy, the old guy who's an old cowboy, is telling a story of his, of his ultimate love, right? And they're sitting around a bonfire in the desert or something and he tells them, you know, this woman he, he he fell in love with, and it's the only woman he's fallen in love with, and never again, right? He goes, oh, yeah, I was riding in the desert, and I came onto a well, and the sun was setting, and this 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 woman walked to the well with a, with a, with a, with a, <laughs> with a bucket, and because the sun was setting, they were wearing a white dress, and you could see the silhouette of the woman, and she was beautiful, and she took her water, she threw the bucket down the well, brought water up, and went back inside the house. And, you know, the two city people asked this cowboy, oh, what did you do? What did you do? Did she become your wife? He goes, no, I realized then that it would never be as good as that. So I rode off <laughs> into the sunset, and I never saw her again, and I never got into another relationship again other than one night stands, right? I don't know if that relates to anything, but that story has stuck, has stuck in my head a long time. High school was a mess for me. I thought nearly everyone was against me. Uh, clicks formed, and I hated uh, that, uh, that aspect. Uh, it, it's a miracle I made it through school without going insane. Hannah, you're not alone. There are a lot of people like that. And it's gotten worse over the years. And when I was too, for me it wasn't that bad. I was very, I'm a very social creature. I, I can drift between things. But I changed high school, and I went to a high school where everybody was in cliques. There were groups, and I would have friends from all of them. But man, I couldn't stand it. It was pathetic. Green tag. I generally think when it comes to heartbreak and being hurt, the best thing is to focus on yourself. Get into daily workouts and hobbies and study. Focus on bettering yourself, and you will find you feel so confident after a good few months and a better person all around. Not bad advice, Tech. Um, I would also say enjoy your misery. <laughs> Seriously, you're feeling an emotion that many people don't feel, right? Or haven't felt. I mean, even though a majority of humanity does, right? At that moment, everybody's not feeling that. They seek that. It means you've loved so much that you got hurt, right? Savor that. It's, it's an emotion that's very powerful. And as Green Tech says, start looking inwards and analyzing things and expose yourself to different places and different types of people. You might, you might appreciate it. You might acquire tools and friends and that'll that will be with you for the rest of your life. Have you have you read the Chicho? Have you read the Young Mind? Young Majin Majin Majin. Have you read the conject, conject, conjectural histories of human nature? I don't think so. I'm curious because you talk of humans as though they are innately social from without environmental factors which contribute to uh, psychosocial development of the essence of a particular individual's psychological mechanism including but not limited to linguistic cultural norms behavioral formality etc uh young Mijun, uh, are you a man of science or fictitious literature uh both i like my background is geophysics and mathematics and i love science fiction and i love fantasy and uh, i love i collect comic books i read like yeah 
I love, I love both, both of them. I don't, I, I don't even call them both ends of the spectrum. They're just genres, right? Uh, as for what you're saying, yeah, culture decides a lot of our beliefs, right? A lot of our beliefs. Terence McKenna, uh, which is one of the, you could consider him to be one of the greatest, one of the top few dozen philosophers of our of our time for the last 50 years or so. Uh, He's, he stated, and many people have stated, that culture is the enemy. Culture is the programming. So if you find yourself miserable in your culture, then start questioning some of the beliefs of your culture, right? And start listening to some of the criticism brought about from people outside of your culture, right? And see if they have merit. Your misery might be related to your programming. And it is related to your programming, really, in large part, right? So you have to look into your programming and try to decide for yourself, is this program that you want the code to still be there? Or are you ready to purge it, right? I felt this sense of my person with my ex, like we were just a team without any question. But my breakup, taught me uh, taught me you can never have an absolute connection to another person i'm grateful she had the courage to end things to wake uh, wake me out of that delusion and back to reality cool cool yeah and if if someone wants to break up and the other person is trying to convince them not to break up you have to ask yourself why does that person want to break up are they not truth themselves are they closing off too much of who they are because they have to be in this relationship even the bad times in life will be valuable to us in terms of growth and experience and how we adopt uh, because because of them and i'll expand on green tech's uh, statement here jacoby how are you doing as you get older you're going to experience things that are going to shatter you break you right you have to put yourself back together heal grow right and the pain that you felt at those those moments is gonna feel distant right distant if you're lucky you will have moments where you feel that pain in its full force cherish those feelings those are emotions that as human beings we need right there can be used as motivation. They could be used as healing. Do you find yourself crying sometimes because of something that happened in the distant past? Fantastic. Congratulations. You still have a connection to that thing that shattered you, right? Don't lose that. Try to hold on to that, right? Not 24 hours a day, but understand what it is and try to Go back there every now and then and get that surge of whatever it is, right? Those chemicals, those tears, crying is amazing, man. I only ask because I'm skeptical, skeptical uh, of the self-proclaimed wise man. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't pretend to be a wise man. Have you seen the videos I put on YouTube? I eat pomegranates out of a out of a bowl with a spoon, right? I, I I read comic books, which are I highly recommend. By the way, I'm not trashing comic books. Some of the greatest literature in human history you will find in comic books, right? Some of the greatest thoughts, some of the greatest uh, theses, right? Some of the greatest ideas that humanity has ever had come through comic books, come through science fiction, right? So I'm going to read your comment just because wise man made me laugh. Uh, it's the goatee. It makes people think I'm wise. <laughs> I only ask because I'm skeptical of self-proclaimed, quote, uh, wise man, end quote, who sprout words of wisdom to vulnerable uh Gener generalities of people general i can't even pronounce that there tend to be misleading or misguiding prophets of ontological belief system most especially are you 
oh my god uh, uh, I, I do not believe we are just this matter of being animated right but I am definitely not into centralized religions right <laughs> you are it's crazy how we wrap ourselves so much in others that we build our identities around each other and therefore feel lost in situations like breakups. Yeah. And sleepy ways, by the way, one recommendation I would have to anyone when you've become active, when you're seeking intimacy relationship, do not jump from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. Have a break between relationships. May they be short, at least a short. I, I hope it's at least a few months if they were intense related. If they're short relationships, a few weeks, sure, whatever, right? A few days, whatever, right? But if you're in an intimate, serious relationship, don't jump from one relationship into another, into another. I know, I've known people that do that, right? They forget who they are, right? Dolphin is laughing. You are lying. And bacon slain. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I was raised and nurtured by my uh, grandfather, and when I when he passed, I was inconsolable, so lost. Whenever I am demotivated to work or need to push myself, I think of him and how much he wanted me to do well, and it gets me through. Yeah, Jacoby, you're not alone. Okay. I put out videos regarding this. Just do Chicho uh, advice for those who have lost loved ones, right? I shared a lot in that video. So you're not alone. A lot of people ask me where I get my motivation. I get my motivation from pain, right? From loss, from knowing that I'm, I'm very privileged. I'm in a place uh, physically that is safe, that I have built, I've, I've made it to where I am right now, and mentally I've dealt with certain things that have destroyed me that I have to come back up again, right? And that motivates, right? You're the most interesting in the world, <laughs> Bacon Slay. <laughs> Your name is awesome. <laughs> Robert the Doop, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, are you using a different microphone? The bio bit rate sound lower than you is it lower is it is it better sound or less sound i am using a different mic the yeti mic i'm not using for this one i'm going through the lapel mic i've kicked up the gain on it right but it's a low-end lapel mic it's the lapel mic i've used for all of my videos the asmr videos the video shoots that i'm doing and then i take it into my editor and just run a couple of filters on it I'm just kicking up the gain. I'm not running any filters on this right now. Just because I just decided to do this today because someone recommended it. Uh, we're going to try to improve as time goes by. I hope the sound is okay though. The break is, is uh, your learning period. The break is your learning period and growing period and deciding of what you want to include into your life for an extended period of time and when you want to let go. Right? It's that fire and drive that his memory has instilled in me that has driven me to do uh, to to this path I'm on, and I'm on track, hopefully, uh, to getting into a very good university in a subject that deeply interests me in a country I've wanted to live in since I was in grade ten uh, or so. I'll love I'll love him always. Awesome, Jacoby. Awesome, and by doing that. You give honor to his memory, right? He lives within you, right? His drive has, you've, you've taken his drive and made it a part of you. He is part of you, right? That's fucking powerful. I swear, sorry. Hey, it takes a wise man to eat a pomegranate out of a bowl. Only a fool misses the opportunity to indulge themselves in that stuff. <laughs> Awesome. Great thing, yeah. Sometimes people are so hurt and lonely. I just want intimacy and distract from their last breakup. And so they go too serious, too fast with someone new, which is not fair. Uh, 
not fair to themselves or the other person in that new relationship. 100% agree, Green Tech. It does sound sort of muffled. Does it sound muffled? Pooper scooper. I think it's because of the gain. So let me move this up. Maybe I'll bring it closer to me. It lacks EQ. That's the kicker, right? The person that told me to do this, they told me to uh, download Reaper. And I've downloaded it. And I thought I could just bring the EQ filter into OBS and just run it. But man, I looked at the instructions and the layout for it. And it looks like it takes a lot more work than that. So I have to look into it. Sound quality is not as good as normal. Really, Anna? Okay. Okay. So until I get the EQ filter going on this, maybe we won't do it through the lapel mic. We'll stay with the uh, with the stand-up mic until I can do this. Maybe I'll go buy a high-end lapel mic and see what it's, uh, how that that's working out. Right? It's listenable, but yeah, the quality is not as high as the Yeti. Okay. I wonder if we can do. Can we do a switch in the middle of the stream? Possibly. Or I could just kill the stream and start a new one. We've been an hour at this. Let's stick with this. Um, because I do want to try this out and I want to see if I can bring it into my processor and run a filter through it. So when it comes to your understanding about this intimate universe, which appears uh, to have appeared spontaneously from the perspective of the individual's particular moment, solipsism, in its hardest sense, do you recognize that those objects which appear in semblance to the individuality of mind, if you grant me this con conception of perceptibility, are of, are of a created kind or type, or is it all merely a what, what to you? Or is it all merely a what, what to you or what to you? So young uh, Majan, I'm getting, I'm getting at this. Uh, is it of a created sort or is it a what? Should the mode of making determina determinations about existence be sought after or discovered? Uh, you're using what you're asking. You're putting a lot of big words and sentences and bringing in theories and stuff. What's your straight up question? No pussyfooting around, right? What do you want to know, young Majan? Do you want to know if God is the creator or is this universe came to be? Were we made in an image of somebody or do we create our own reality? Is that what you want to say in those big words that you use? I'm just asking, right? Because I lost you. I, I get the gist of it, but I want to make sure we're clear on this. Switch middle. I have found that Medicinal herbs enhance intimacy and closeness. Indeed. Should we switch? Let's check it out. Let me see if I can grab it from here. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's check this out. I can put this here. Is this fitting in there? Oh, it doesn't fit in there. So hold on. Not do what it's like. Okay, we gotta put this guy here. Bring the Yeti cord. Let's bring the Yeti cord. Oh, oh, hold on. I got this guy here. Okay, this is gonna take me a, a second. Doink. And I gotta bring this guy out. Attach this. Because I only have two USB ports. Pichu just let out a giant. <laughs> awesome. You're about to hear another one. <laughs> so before I disconnect this, uh, young Majan, what are you asking? What's created and or what? Like, I don't understand what created is. What do you want to know? Who created what? What? What is your perspective on existence? Oh, you know what? 
Dude. Okay, you're gonna hear a boop boop, maybe. No, oh, I think that guy kicked in. So I'm gonna turn on the mic. Let's see. You guys gotta let me know before I kill this mic. Let me turn it on. Can, Can you, you hear? hear? Yes. Can, Can you guys, guys hear? hear? I, I hope, hope so. so. Nice. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna. Do what you chose. Yes. Nice. Okay, okay so, so I'm gonna, gonna end this guy. guy. This, this guy's, guy's gonna, gonna go. go. Lapal mic's done. Nice. Okay. So, double mic from two mics running at once. Okay. I killed the lapel mic. So this should be okay. Right? And I have the mic right in front of me. So it should be it should be fairly loud. So I'll try to keep it fairly quiet. That sound answer all my existential <laughs> yay back to normal okay we'll stick with this until i great audio okay we'll stick with this system until i can figure things out okay <laughs> i'll make the stream don't get a new mic this is perfect don't waste your money okay hannah we'll stick with this for now i do in the next system upgrade i'll i'll try to do okay in the next system upgrade i'll try to do it's it is what it is right uh, there's only so much learning I can do in one shot, right? Uh, and if we get enough funds together, I'll definitely have friends that do this, but I don't want them to to, to do this pro bono, right? I want to pay people for their, for their work, right? So when we start getting enough funds together, uh, enough revenue stream coming in, hopefully we don't get kicked off YouTube when they're rolling in all these new rules and regulations that they're in, in, introducing created implies a maker or a source to which we can apply the definition that is a godhead god omnipotent essence etc do we have any adequate modes of reasoning by which we may um, make determinations about this existential question concerning the people's um, people's ultimate belief in system god uh young majand uh I come from the realm of mathematics, right? There is a mathematical code behind behind this reality. Okay. However, I do not. It's not even believe. I I, I don't want to say no. I guess because, um, no. But I do know, right? <laughs> because through my experiences, uh, we are not just this matter being animated. We're not a body with a soul. We are a soul that is occupying a body. And I'm not the first person to say this. I'm paraphrasing or quoting someone else. Okay. So if you want to know if I believe that we are here, we are done, it's over. We come from nothing and we're done, it's over. I don't believe that is the case. If you... Th if, you, if you're asking me if there is one single entity that I believe is that created me, uh, I disagree, right? This single entity that said, uh, let's make a Chicho. <laughs> Chicho came to be. <laughs> uh, no, I think possibly I decided to say, hey, I want to be a Chicho. So I occupied and I'm being a Chicho. Chicho, given the amount of news date you consume on our current world, what are ways you heal, keep your mental emotions, health on check? Sleepy waves, great question. And the way I do it is I share as much as I can. The reason I got into blogging is because I saw the world going down a very, very dark path. And that was in the beginning of 2000s, right? Beginning of 2000, it actually end of the 1990s to a certain degree, but that song and that mindset, uh, party like it's 1999, 
for those of you who didn't live through that period, I can honestly tell you the 1990s, if you were in the Western world, not in the Eastern world, where I am in Canada, United States, it was unbelievable, carefree, uh, very, very carefree. There are different words you could use for it, right? However, when the 2000s kicked in, things changed up, reality hit in, right? So for me, my motivation, my juice, the thing that keeps me sane physically, mental, uh, mentally, emotionally, is first of all, I eat well. I try to eat healthy. It is extremely important for you to eat healthy, right? Extremely important. If you're going to start anywhere, start here. Okay. The next thing you do is you clean out your house. Get rid of the garbage. May it be material. May it be friends. And make sure, you know, if you're going to burn a bridge, make sure it is a bridge that you really want to burn, right? If you're certain energies are keeping you down you may not want to totally cut your connection with them you may just want to distance yourself from them and find people and situations that motivate you realize that we we that are me live streaming this you watching this we are privileged we we have a responsibility Right. And we do. Right. That is that is the whole concept of privilege. And it's not about your color or your money or whatever it is. It's about your state of being. If you're happy, if you're achieving what you want to do, if people aren't bombing you, shooting you, if there isn't coups happening, if the police aren't knocking down your door and all that jazz. Right. I'm assuming most of us are in that situation. Appreciate what you have appreciate the tools at your disposal main one being the internet make sure you fight to protect it because there are powers that are trying to take that away from you right pick battles that have a deep meaning to you don't jump around from one two second event to another two second event based on what corporate propagandists are spewing right because that means you're being controlled okay so look at the world analyze the world try to figure out what in this world is really important to you learn your mathematics learn your natural language learn both those well because what that's going to do is going to allow you to be able to consume information at a good rate right and be able to process that information so you can incorporate it into your life and to be able to process that that information you have to have a good handle on language and understand mathematics okay i'm sorry if it's a long-winded sort of sideways answer but to me what motivates me is what i have at my disposal and the pain that I've gone through in the past and what it took for me to come up to where I am now. And that's made me stronger. And I appreciate everything that I have, my safety net that I have, both emotionally, through friends, through family, through my uh, tools that I've acquired in my life, right? Because right now I could just ditch everything, go somewhere and get a job doing pizza delivery if I have to, right? Because I have enough stuff that I can consume. There have enough books that I can read. I have enough knowledge to dig myself out of a hole. You have to get yourself to that state. It's a brutal world, okay? You have to have a thick skin. Chicho makes my evening so cozy. <laughs> nice, Anna. Yes, there are more things in heaven and earth Horatio, then are dreamt of in your philosophy, Hamlet. Awesome. Eduardo, hi, Chicho. Hello, Eduardo. How are you doing? Who are your top two favorite philosophers? My two top, Robert Anton Wilson. Okay. That's got to be one of them. Um, I can't say two. I'll give you five that I'll, I'll put in any two. 
If I have two, there's five, right? Robert Anton Wilson, um, Grant Morrison, okay, Wilhelm Reich, Bill Hicks, Terence McKenna. We could go on. Bill Hicks, for sure. Bill Hicks is one of my greatest teachers, right? Bill Hicks was a prophet. Watch everything that he put out. Think about things that he put out, right? I feel like how you maintain your environment reflects the state of your mind. If your room's messy, your mind is probably messy. To, to, to a certain degree, Dolphin, I agree. By the way, here's... Uh, oh, I'm going to allow that. There's a fine line between self-inquiry and mental... Yeah. Uh, here's... By the way, I forgot who asked that. Sleepy waves. Here's one thing I did that really improved my state of... Uh, my mental and emotional state. Okay. Here's one thing I did. Let me show you the book that I recommended this. Do I have it here? Is it here? Is it here? Oh, it's not this. Okay, it's not here. It's do another shelf. But I'll tell you the name of the book. Now, I don't, I don't agree with everything in this book because I'm a geophysicist. They said some stuff about the Earth that I disagree with. However it's a book on the mayans it was written by jose arguelles okay and it's called time and the technosphere right it was worth reading i highly a little a fair bit of stuff there's a couple of chapters there i totally disagree with right but you could disagree with something or someone's mindset and still still take useful information because they may know things you don't know here's one exercise this person had in this book Jose Arguelles, Time in the Technosphere, and he's talking about the Mayans and different time factors that we're in a 12-month cycle, 12 months in a year, but it should really be 13 months in a year because it follows the lunar calendar, same as a female menstrual cycle. Like, it's huge. It's connected up to biology, right? So once you dig into this, anxiety comes to a lot of people because of time-induced anxiety, right? So in this book, the guy recommended this. He said, try this as an experiment. Remove all clocks that are visible to you without you seeking to find out what time it is, right? So if you have a clock on your wall that at a glance, periphery, it's always telling you what time it is, remove those. The only way you should, you should know what time it is is if you're actively seeking to find out what time it is, right? So if you have clocks on the table that are constantly, you can see them, remove them. Okay, really. I tried that out. That's what he said. Do this experiment. Do it for two weeks. See how you feel. I did it for two weeks. I never went back. I don't put up clocks in my wall. I have no clocks on my beside my bed, in any room, right? The only clock that I have that's visible is the clock in the kitchen on the stove, right? And that's pretty important when you're doing cooking or baking, right? You need the clock, you need the timer. So I use it a lot. The only other place that I look at the clock is on my computer if I scroll down and I see the clock if I if I'm doing a live stream or whatever I need to know. If I don't need if I don't if I don't have any appointments during the day, certain days that I don't, I barely look at the time, okay? There might be a live stream coming on that I wanna watch or someone notification that comes, right? Remove the clocks from your visible line of sight. Try it out for a month, forget two weeks, try it out for a month, see how you feel. Who are, da, 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 I feel like how you maintain your, yeah, to clarify, you insist upon no to the question of a God. What is a God? God is an English word. What, what is that? Okay. Or as pertaining to the existence of mental souls, which is to say a part of the brain, there is a bodily entities which makes up this essence of mind. How do you arrive at making essence of uh, one which is constituted? Here, I'll give you an example, right? Learn. Here, check this out. You need to learn science if you're listening. Uh, listening, mathematics is key. 
100% mathematics. Here, here's, I'm paraphrasing now, right? I'm telling a story from um, Grant Morrison, right? So Grant Morrison comes up to a stage, it's on a uh, disinformation uh, conference that they have. He's pretty hammered, right? He gets on there, he yells in the mic, yeah, and he goes off on his rant, right? He says, we us human beings are one, okay? And he gives an analogy as to what that one is. And it's related to the difference between two-dimensional world and a three-dimensional world. If you live in a two-dimensional world, you're flat earth. You're flat, right? You don't see up and down. You just see left, right, forward, backward, right? You're in a two-dimensional world, right? And we exist in this two-dimensional world right now. So we're this dot here, this dot here, this dot here, this dot here, right? But that's not really who we are because we live in a three-dimensional world. And those dots that you see us as being individual beings separate from everybody else is not the complete picture. Because if we live in a three-dimensional world, each dot is really just imagine a finger from a hand coming through the two-dimensional world where you see a dot as an individual being if you extend that to a higher dimension we are all connected right is that what you mean by god do you ever talk about religion yeah it comes up a legendary rob boss it, it, seriously there are people who actually believe in centralized institution religion I don't know what religion means. Do, does religion mean we are spiritual beings and not matter? Well, we occupy matter, so we are also matter, right? We are also spiritual. Do I believe in organized religion such as this faction, this sect, this cult, that thing? No, man. Human mind cannot understand God, or can it? Or maybe we are God. Maybe we are just this finger of God connected to the whole God, right? Is that God? Is that what we call God? I don't know. Is that, is, what's the definition of God? What is that? It's like saying life, right? Consciousness. But God is more abstract than that. A little off topic, but do you have uh, any beard growing tips? Oh, Robert, do Chicho beard for sure. I got a beard playlist. Let me find it for you. <laughs> Let me find our beard playlist. It's some of the first videos I ever put out. Well, one of them, and we've built on that, right? Let me find you beard for sure. Let me get you my beard playlist for you, brother. <laughs> Let me find it. Come on, playlist. Let's get into the playlist. Playlist. Here you want beards, beards. Dum, 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 dum. Let me do a search. Beards. Beards. We got 14 beard videos. There's some grooming tips there. <laughs> and other things. <laughs> Boink. Well, I'm missing some chat. Mick Silva, how are you doing? Uh, let me see where we are. Here's a fine line between self-inquiry and mental masturbation. Yeah. I'd like to believe that no matter what happens, you can make anything of yourself if you apply yourself. We are all human and have the same potential if we try. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Green tech? No, I, I agree with you. I think within within boundaries of our social setting and chance, because luck has a lot to do with life as well, uh, you can make the most out of your life, right? That's libertarian. <laughs> So says you, and you have the right to believe that, young Majan. You have the right to believe that's libertarian free will nonsense. Really? I don't know. I'm not really trash talking your beliefs, right? You have the right. Well, maybe I am. I think you're out of your mind if you think there's there's a, there's this 
your interpretation of this entity sitting there that has created you that wants you to worship him uh, for you to ascend or descend right or you must abide by these laws to get virgins uh, or you must do these things to be reincarnated as a higher being uh, or you must do this to cycle through live different really i don't know everybody's got their own beliefs time is the what can you write it out time and the what time and the technosphere let me find the link that's the that's the best i got and you know what there was some amazing stuff uh sleepy waves uh regarding the mayans that i found interesting time and the technosphere time and the technosphere now keep in mind i do not agree with everything this person said there was a couple of places in that thing that i thought were um yeah and this is this is actually my copy that i had so i'm just sending sending a link to goodreads for you okay so here's a link to the goodreads hopefully that came through doop, doop. oh i'm gonna daisy daisy i'm gonna time you out Time out. Time out. Talk. If you're not nice, it's an auto ban. <laughs> auto mod zapping you. Let's check this out. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip and number seven to number 45 <laughs> one with cheese and a large soda <laughs> well i would have to assume you understand what the term god makes reverence to i cannot possibly be expected to like uh, yes you can of course you can you're using a generic word saying you're you're expecting me to know your definition of god what there's seven billion plus people on this planet thousands of religious beliefs and mindsets and then there's a whole bunch of spiritual states of being and majority of those have a word god that means something else why am i why are you putting the burden on me to know what your definition of god is what are you talking about evening jijo evening i just got finished eating a garlic salt and pepper dressed steak oof, wrapped in bacon with a slice of cheese sandwich and speaking of gods was i was eating that i met him <laughs> so funny uh, so, yeah to some that is a definite god that would be amazing and if you had a little bit of liqueur on the side oh my god like literally we demand a beard liqueur video <laughs> at some point when i grow a beard i will definitely continue to be making uh beard videos or liqueur videos and we'll have liqueur videos with beards you will rely on claims that are substantial substantiated by evidence or do you find meaning and truth and claims which are priori in another day but brother you're using you're using very large words that really uh aren't really saying anything i feel like yeah, i'm actually talking to obama uh, a lot of pretty words and big words that don't mean anything right okay i would define god as a uh, i would i would define oh you're going to define awesome awesome let's define this i would define god as an om omnisentient being or entity with the self-interest of intervening in sentient activity in and about the the, the in about the world <laughs> Robert the two just laughs. Uh, yeah, I don't believe in your God. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a turnip <laughs> or radish. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to sleep, and the YouTube recommended videos caught me in a trap. Watching multiple steak videos. 
and decided, hmm, it's 3 a.m. and I'm making this right now. <laughs> You're an atheist. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe in omni omniscient being or entity with the self interest of intervening in sentient activity in about the world. <laughs> if I was a god, I'd leave you guys alone. Have you read all of those books? Have I read the graphic novels? Yeah. Uh, no, there's some. I haven't read all of this one or all of this one, but I've read probably in the singles because these are the collections. I've probably read, like, as far as Conan goes, like this much Conan, but in singles. Savage sort of Conan. Uh, no, not all of these books. The graphic novels, the comic books, yeah. I've skimmed through a lot of these books. Uh, I've read some of these books. No. At some point, maybe I will, right? I bought them because I was interested in them, right? And sometimes I pick up the books and I read them. Like, this is a great book. The Tao of the I Ching, right? Fantastic book. Very good book. Okay. I read this one. It's very good. Very interesting. Did I read all of it? I might have not read all of it because it, the first part of it, check this out yin yang like i highlight stuff right so i highlighted stuff and whatnot um so i read the first half of this because the first half is about the theory and the second part it goes into uh doing divination using uh the I Ching, right so i've highlighted some stuff on it and whatnot so this was a very good book great great book if you want to know understand what the I Ching is about okay you know i flipped through some of this wolfram alpha uh these ones no this one this one yes that one yes uh, yeah yeah it's fun having books is fantastic yeah, it's way too late and I'm way too full. Uh, even read and I'm <laughs> trying to understand that comment right now. <laughs> What's it about? How do you use Ching? Uh, it's the I Ching. It's the, it's the way of definition uh, from uh, China where it's the 64 characters with the this. You have to look into it. I read this a while ago. Like, I read this I don't know, 18 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 20, 18 years ago or something, 15 years ago. So what do you say about the causes of nature? Huh? Is it natural for me to do as I please? Sure. Just don't take other people's lives away, right? What universal object should I relate to when making decisions, judgments about my conduct? uh your conscience <laughs> right and you're assuming so you you're assuming just the matter-based universe this what you see and hear that's it is that your only natural law you're going to follow 95 percent of the mass of the universe is not accounted for what is that other 95 percent huh? i've dabbled in these questions but my intuition leads me to have found no objection and sound reasoning. Is this part of relationships? I don't know. It reminds me to never ever trip you, uh, trip with your mind. I'll end I'm launching myself out a window just to escape <laughs> dark matter. That's what it is. And dark energy, right? Dark matter is actually less than dark energy. I believe dark energy is more than dark matter. I think dark energy is supposed to be like 30% of it and dark matter is supposed to the dark matter is supposed to be like 30 and dark energy is supposed to be like 60 65 got to go we'll enjoy the rest of the stream tomorrow morning good night and thanks for the beer playlist my pleasure Robert hope you enjoy it <laughs> thanks for popping in <laughs> curious Devin how are you doing it's been a while catch you later Robert 
Yeah, it's been a while, Curious Devin, for sure. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying yourself. How are we doing? What time is it? Oh, no, that was only half an hour we've been streaming when I changed the mic. So we're about an hour now. Good, 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 good. That's good. I was like, oh, no, we're running out. So relationships, gang, what should we talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? And by the way, what uh, what's his name? Young Majong is talking about. That's also a relationship related question, right? Your relationship with a higher being, if you want to think about it that way, right? But there are amazing other types of relationships to be had, right? Polly Walnut. When will you have a sports discussion? Oh, Polly. So I used to follow sports, uh, especially soccer. There are other sports I used to follow as well. Uh, I even went to the World Cup in 1994. I spent a month in California going to the World Cup games. I went and saw the final with Brazil and Italy and stuff like this. I used to be into sports. I used to play a lot of sports. But as soon as I found out what the economics of professional sports is about and how it's so detrimental to our society and it's so detrimental to the education of the youth uh i stopped following sports i can't stand it professional sports okay except every now and then i watch the ultimate fighting stuff right because i enjoy that i think that's a lot of power a lot of energy has gone into that all right and the reason i stopped following sports was because of the, because of this about 15 years ago or so 20 years 15 years ago or so in canada the nhl had a they went on strike for one year right and at that time i, had a, I was i've been tutoring for a long time right i had a fair bit of students and it was I had, at that time luck be having i had a lot of students for about three or four years that were following a lot of hockey right they would spend watching hockey every night and nhl most sports franchises they want to keep your eyes on the tube right because they make money off that right so Everybody went on hockey. Uh, the NHL went on strike, so the kids didn't know what to do with themselves. One of the students that I had that had learning disabilities, um, learning differences, if you want to call them, right? Learning differences is a really good word, actually. I'm glad it, that kicked into gear. So learning differences where they weren't doing well in school, right? So And he was really into hockey because that was his connection with everybody else. And when there was no hockey... He was getting a little antsy because he wasn't getting his fix. He's like an addict watching sports, right? You got it. You need that fix. You need that fix. You need that fix. So I had a sit down talk with him. I said, hey, listen, why don't you take this year and instead of the energy you put into the hockey, put it into the mathematics. It's going to improve your life beyond bounds, right? You will be a happier human being. And this person, I started working with them. They were barely passing grade 8 math and grade 9 math. And the hockey strike happened in grade 10, right? When he was in grade 10. That year, I worked with him a fair bit. Got him out of that addiction. And I worked with him all the way to grade 12, right? This is a person with major learning differences. Barely passing grade 8 math, grade 9 math. In grade 12, he ended up taking math 12, Physics 12, chemistry 12, and did well in all three of them and went to university. I saw him in his third year of university. I ran into him and he, he was one of my favorite students ever. He worked his ass off. Like people, when they complain about, oh, I got to do homework. I just think about that kid. I go, get, get out of there. Like, really, you are whining about doing a page of homework? where people really struggle and need to find themselves in this world and be able to get themselves to a level where they can maintain their lives. This person, I saw him three years after university, and he was in UBC in engineering, right? And we had a chat, and he thanked me and stuff like this, right? Like, fantastic. So after that year, I dropped 
following professional sports i think is very detrimental to our societies oh god i just googled the effect of eating during the middle of the night and the first thing was increased risk of heart attack great well i think if you're young you should be okay i hope i have a baby now my first oh snap curious Devin, boy or girl boy or girl how old must be just a few months you're assuming that animals are uh, designed for relationships or moral behavior how can you make that judgment about this life it appears you have formed a preconceived opinion well if you want to think about science dolphins have a bigger brain than we do so you know if we go with size dolphins should be smarter just because we don't understand them does it mean they're we're smarter you're very interrelated interest for cultural viewpoints something we alluded to earlier with define those cultural concerns do you believe in evolution oh my god uh, uh where is this information how is it so detrimental to education uh, i just gave you an example and look into david zern and look into this guy's writing and here let me give you a link david zern or dave zern zern beyond thunderdome beyond oops beyond thunder dome is detrimental to our society images yeah this guy beyond thunder dome da, 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 da. i think it's called beyond thunder Dome. okay i'm gonna give you his name um here let me just find david zern I'll give you his, does he have a David Zern? Here, I'll give you his Twitter feed. Boop. Here's his Twitter feed. And he's into sports, like he follows sports. But he's written books about how detrimental professional sports are uh, to our societies. Oh my goodness. I've just woken up to a Chicho stream. Odd oh, Meg, how are you doing? Greetings from 4:30 a.m. Denmark. <laughs> Greetings, Odd Meg. Greetings. Hey, you Chicho. Bear Records. Bear Records. Hey, Bear Records. Bear Records. Are you the same Bear Records that recommended the lapel mic that sent me all the info? I think so. Uh, we had it set up. Chat didn't like it. Uh, the sound they said was a little muffled because I didn't get into uh, loading on. I downloaded Reaper, but I wasn't able to incorporate it with uh, OBS if the instructions seem complicated. So we're back into the Yeti mic. Okay. Thanks for popping in, by the way. And thank you for the write up and the help. I think I'm going to need to do an upgrade, get a better lapel mic, and uh, do some. Put some time in just to see how this how it's gonna sound 1995 world cup the iconic all over orion goal versus belgium this guy ran past five players from his own half and buried it in the top corner amazing the 94 world cup was amazing was amazing girl two weeks old two weeks old oh my god so tiny so tiny Congratulations, Curious Devin. Congrats, man. Yeah, seriously. Awesome. Are you Serge Tagiano's brother? Um, maybe, may, maybe, maybe re distant relation? Who knows? And by the way, here, Chicho, here's an article I wrote. Chicho, stone of uh, down. Here's my review of System of Down's music. If you like System of Down, you would like this review okay really you will enjoy this review you will enjoy this review goodness that's a lot to blame sports on sounds like his parents should have considered his intake of hockey sports is a major money maker of course but it's very uh, beautiful at times uh, brother i don't disagree with you like i love sports you know how much i love sports in the um, late 1980s I started recording every World Cup game I still have VHS records of the World Cup games right and I did it for 12 years or so 
Uh, but it's is it is it right to blame it on it? Uh, it's it's a right to put the blame on the corporatization, on the commodification of the sports itself. It's right to put the blame on the education system because in the education system, because professional athletics generate so much money for schools, schools have walked away from academia and taken a lot of money and put it into sports and they're doing it short term and kids don't know, right? So kids are spending a lot of time on sports in school that they weren't spending that much time in the past just because sports has been commodified. So agreed, it's not the actual sport that is to blame, but it's the commodification, the economics of the sports around it. I've seen a lot of kids' lives be destroyed because they were being pushed in school to participate in athletics. And, you know, if they were playing hockey, rugby, uh, uh, football, whatever it was they're playing, they would have practices every day or three or four days a week and then a game on the weekends. That's too much for a high school kid to be participating in. They also have to think about their future. The schools are corrupt. I was going to drop math in my senior high school year, but I took it but I took it anyway. Learned calculus one and two, nice. Went on to study engineering at university. Wouldn't have guessed it. Always felt like math was so out of reach for me. Follow what intimid, uh, intimidates you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Do things that scare you. Yes, it's me. Oh, no. Was it a little buzzy or weak sounding? I think it sounded muffled. And just to let you know, these lapel mics that I've been using for all the ASMR videos I've been creating and all the videos I've been creating when we're doing it with the v uh, HD camera and the mic, I bought these lapel mics off eBay for $15. Like it came out to 18 including shipping, right? I didn't, like I try to make the most with what I have, right? Because I'm not sitting on a lot of money. <laughs> I, I, I manage and i like it all right so when i when i get some more funds together and stuff like this i just have to take care of some business and then i'm going to build up my uh upgrade fund and then i'm going to buy the stuff yeah by the way again thank you and just so you know check this out uh, i don't think you'll be able to read this uh, here let me black out the email here I printed it off so I was looking through this <laughs> trying to do these settings and stuff right I put on the compressor settings but then the compressor I think was delaying it a little bit it was cutting out so we kill the compressor and then it was still muffled thank you for the recommendation brother seriously it sounded muffled like uh, it lacked EQ which it did low and low mids highs with no highs ends okay i had a similar experience calculus is pretty sexy sometimes indeed odd mac it's my favorite math topics for sure nice how was the closeness feel of the sound um you know what i i listened to some of it i did uh, today i played around with some of the settings and filters it did feel closer it didn't have that uh, stadium feel to it to a certain degree it sounded close it just felt like there was a blanket covering the mic or something slightly not slightly not too bad plus when the physical uh physical peak is over sports careers are usually over and sports players need to find a new purpose and dolphin here's the other thing some of the sports that kids are being forced now they are being forced because they're kids they don't know right are being put into let's use the word put they paid a price with major physical damage to their bodies. Look at uh, gymnastics. A lot of the gymnasts that you see in the Olympics doing these amazing things that you go, oh, wow, wow. When they're 30, 20s, they got severe joint pain, muscle pain. That's not explained 
to some of these kids. I still love the World Cup. I remember waking up with my older sister to watch the Japan Korea Cup in 2002 with my dad. Odmik, me too. I, I'll share my World Cup story with you guys someday. Okay, my World Cup stories with you someday. But they're very dear to my heart, the World Cup. Uh, and I still do watch, but I do not participate uh, other than watching. Okay. Cheap mics can still sound very good. What kind of audio editing do you do for the edited video you post on YouTube? Um, Bear Records, I take it into Adobe Premiere, right? And it's an older Adobe Premiere, like 10 years old. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah it's a really old adobe premiere and in the video editing i for the sound not the earlier stuff but the last few years for the sound on the mic i run a i run a d hummer i run a d noiser and i run an eq filter and i do a mid-range eq and it's i don't change the settings it's a graph so i do the graph and collapse and i do the same thing for all of them basically here in Texas, we call you Chichito. <laughs> you can pass for a Mexicano. Nice. <laughs> but when are you going to go over your mineral collection? I believe you did your partners in a video, but never yours unless I... No, you got it right. I still haven't gone through mine. I got to go through it. Thank you for the reminder. And we will at some point. Okay. I, I, I need to. It's just... I got into the politics stuff because and that's been consuming a lot of time because there's a lot of stuff happening that i have to be able to sleep soundly at night so i've had to incorporate that into my work right but i will go through it at some point i actually have three videos lined up to do for that three asmr videos one of them anyway we'll do them one of them is just showing you the the rocks another one is showing you the cards uh, that I made up the names and I put them all in the bag so I forget which one's what and I have cars for the names and the formulas and I want to do that so I'll put a set together will do and by the way uh, Chichito if you're in Texas do you listen to South Park Mexican SPM one of the greatest hip-hop artists ever on the same level as Tupac and Biggie and Big Al and Big Pun and dead press and Wu Tang and public enemy and whatnot. Sports are responsible for so many amazing memories of mine. There's nothing wrong with them, of course, but the cultural ad adoration of them is problematic, especially for NCAA athletes in the States when you're an athlete first and a student second. Yeah, maybe we can jump on a call sometime and uh, set up a nice live streaming set up for you i'm in la same time zone as as you uh bear records that'll be fantastic but again my this i have this mic my computer is pretty limited um but i'd be i'd be into it uh, if let me get caught up well you know what um for sure thank you for the offer man thank you for the offer i don't want to put you out man um I don't want to put you out. What I would like to do is read, uh, go through the websites, uh, go through the videos I've queued up to watch to incorporate the Reaver. And the Reaver is not free, it's just three months free. And then after three months, you got to pay 60 bucks, which is I'm okay with, right? Um, but I do need to go through that, right? But if you are, it's cool. Very true. Ballet comes to mind. How it looks so graceful, but just forces feet out of their natural form so much. Chiquito, I don't know about that, uh, amigo. Of course, growing up, SPM was big here for us Mexicans. But he, he's locked up for not, not so good things. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, but yes, grew up listening to him. Pretty uh, unbelievable, you know, who that is. Would have never guessed it. Yeah, man. I've, I've looped spm all of his stuff okay i looped spm as much as i looped biggie big pun tupac and spm's got a huge collection and one thing about spm i know he's locked up for uh for the reason he's locked up but i don't trust the 
policing or the judicial system in the United States, especially not in Texas, when it comes to uh, certain things, right? So I know what he's locked up for. Do I believe the charges? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't trust the judicial system in the United States. So I still remember watching your The Language of Mathematics series and hearing most deaf's uh, mathematics while you were writing chalk on the wall. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. I was looping a lot of most deaf, man. And Talib Koel, right? Black on Both Sides is an amazing album. And what's the other one? Uh, Black on Both Sides and... I forget the other al um the other album black something uh, black on both sides and I forget the other one fantastic albums fantastic albums like pff, so powerful so powerful and that song is amazing people if you haven't heard most Steph's mathematics listen to it okay love black on both sides yeah what a phenomenal album. And what's the other album they put out? They put out two albums together. Black on both sides and... Do you do country music? I did for a while. I did for a while, Polly. Black Star. No, Black Star. Was it Black Star? Black Star was the other hip-hop artist that got killed. Uh, I did do for a while. In, in my youth. In my teens and early... 20s i did a little bit of country but i grew up with metal and i really liked country and there were uh kenny 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 rogers and dolly parton were doing a tour here <laughs> and i was trying to convince my friends at least one of them to come to a country music show with me i really regret not going solo man i i really wanted to go to see that show but i couldn't get any of my banger headbanger friends to come with me i was like dude come on let's go let's somebody come with me no one took the bait and i didn't go solo i wish i did and of course um willie nelson right and some of the other ones uh oh my god uh, devil devil in the blue suede shoes and uh devil fiddler the fiddler fiddler devil fiddler what was his name johnny and johnny cash geez johnny cash man Kenny and Dolly are great. Yeah, Willie Nelson and George Strait are gods here. Yeah, Willie Nelson for sure. I listen to a lot. George Strait, I don't know. The Reaper software isn't free, but you can still use the included filters in OBS or Audition. You just got to set up the files. Oh, really? Charlie Daniels, the fiddler. Charlie Daniels, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to that so much. No problem helping you. I've been watching your content since 2012. Wow. I have a bunch of your videos burned to MP3s. Nice. And remastered. Nice. That I listen to to help me fall asleep. I sent you a remastered version uh, of your solo backgammon video a few years back on SoundCloud. Oh, you're the dude dude awesome that's great did I, I must have downloaded that i remember uh did i download it i must have downloaded it but i don't know where it is now i've had hard drives crash on me right uh if you do have for sure send to me again um yeah i think bear records is an audio engineer a brother for sure if uh maybe uh give me x how are you doing i've set up live streams for saturday and sunday today's wednesday uh, let me know what your schedule is like brother I'll, I'll try to make the time to uh for us to do a live stream and we and we do uh or we do not a live stream uh, what do you call it live chat and if you can walk me through setting this up stuff up let me know how much time I need to be able to do this. And we do. Yes, that's me. I'm an auto engineer and do some video work too. Awesome. 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 For sure, brother. I'll take you up on your offer. Big time. Big time. Big time. Hi, X. I hear you all the time in Chicho's videos. <laughs> and it's always, hi, X. 
How are you doing? Fun. I like these relationships, these chill streams. We got a couple of politics streams set up for the weekend gang. So, and by the way, Twitch took out their uh, events, uh, events uh, pages. So I can't do events anymore. I'll just, so there won't be any links to the actual events. I'm just going to state them. Uh, yeah, I do. I have played chess. I used to play a lot, a lot of chess when I was younger, but then I grew out of chess. But chess is one of the first games I learned how to play next to backgammon and chess backgammon and chess i guess and gin rummy backgammon chess and gin rummy are the first three games really that i learned how to play as well as monopoly dolphin that's awesome man i've been trying to uh trying hard to practice mixing and mastering my own music so much to learn i admire profession yeah yeah dolphin I've looked at video editing is easy compared to sound editing. I think video editing is easy because you can see it. Sound editing, you have to visualize what's happening. Uh, I, maybe if, I don't know if that's what kept me from trying to mess around with the sound more. Uh, but I picked up video editing way easier than sound editing. I still don't really know what I'm doing with the sound editing, the filters I'm running. I just watched some videos and that's what they were using. So I use those. <laughs> right? Fun. No problem. You've got my email. And it's the same email I use for Skype. An hour is plenty of time to get things squared away. I do most of my work from home. So I'm around. Okay, awesome. By record. Do I need to do anything um, to be ready to so for us to do it? Got to go, ch Chichito. Hope to catch a future stream. Have a good night. You too, brother. You too, brother. Or Polly. That's a female name, isn't it? Polly Walnut. Walnut it. Brother, sister, I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thanks for popping by. And thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Fun. We talked a little bit about relationships. Oh, it's a character from Sopranos. I still haven't watched Sopranos yet. I will one day. The choice for me was either The Wire or Sopranos, and I watched The Wire. Fantastic series. What sort of music do you produce? Music is my passion, but I make most of my income off podcasts and interviews. Oh, wow, that's cool. You must listen to a lot of podcasts and interviews, Bear Records. That's good. That's fantastic. Fun. Most likely, I'm going to be loading up a couple of, or at least one video, either tomorrow or next day. The one we did for the mathematics where we talked about the world and whatnot. relationships relationships can be chill what else is going on we can talk about other things if there's no relationships fun the spicy one radish i like to stay open to creating different things but i tend to gravitate towards rock alternative music cool I've had an idea for years to make a Chicho podcast. Just a rip of his live streams. People will eat it up to stream Chicho while they work and commute. Nice. People have been asking me to do podcasts, so and brother, if you're up to the task. I'll I'll follow. <laughs> 
what would be called <laughs> Chicho, you should do a book club or something mm, Oddmik, um, actually I have a book club playlist here I've been meaning to do more of it it's just a news cycle took over uh, we've done a couple of books so far it's a good idea Admic, and I want to do more of it for sure here let me find a playlist I'll show you what we've done so far where is our playlist book club playlist book club oh we've got 25 videos on book club wow Here's what we've done so far with the book club stuff, Admec. Brother, I'll work for free, but you've got to pay the hosting fee. Oh, how much? You know what? Let me know how much it'll cost. Uh, Chicho, you should do it. Yeah. Uh, how much would it cost? Like right now, I'm flying on fumes in terms of financing. I'm taking care of some business I need to take care of. Uh, once I get a little surplus, uh, I'd be willing to do it. And can't we can't we do hosting? Like right now, I'm on Blockspot. I guess that's free. But are there no places to do hosting for free for podcasts? I guess SoundCloud. You can load on the stuff on SoundCloud, and I believe SoundCloud you have to pay a uh, monthly fee to have stuff on there, right? Uh, I forget how much that is mm. so we could do that uh, I don't know what about uh, what about the other ones I don't know what's involved brother so if you want let me know what's involved and man if you're willing to do we do for sure I've been I personally want to pay people for their work if they put into put into what I do like to me this is my passion right so I'm willing to put all these ridiculous hours of putting content out, right? Uh, so, uh, but I don't expect anyone else to do that. Spotify would be good. Spotify? Okay. Ah, oh, neat. I started reading uh, Society of the Mind by Marvin Minsky. Big AI guy. Oh, someone else. Uh, who's the other person that... Someone just recommended a huge AI person. Let me find that the person's name for you. It might be the same person. No, I don't think so. It's a different person. It's interesting. Reminds me of Gudel Escher Bach, but just a bit lighter and more philosophical. Is it lighter, more philosophical? Gudel Escher Bach. I wasn't smart enough to read the whole thing. I read to 105 pages, and then I had to go read Elegant Universe. I went. I read up to 100. Page 105 of Guru Lesher Bach. I realized I wasn't smart enough to read it or wasn't able to loop the stuff. So I read this, Elegant Universe and God's Equation, uh, which is a book on how Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. I read those to improve, kick up my intelligence. Here's the, here's the comment. Hold on. Let me find the guy's name. The guy just recently made the comment and he linked to a podcast. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the podcast. Ben, here, let me find this link. Oh, Mick, I don't know if you've heard about this guy. So let me link this. This is, and he's linking to a Joe Rogan podcast. And the guy's name is Ben. Uh, Gortez, Gortezel. I don't, I don't know this guy. It's the first time I've ever heard of him. Uh, so, you know, if you know him, I'll definitely need to give that podcast a listen. I've been meaning to listen to it since the guy posted it. Dolphin rock punk metal is my favorite. I engineered for six years before I started charging bands in 2011. By 2007, it was full time gig. It takes time. Cool. It took six years, eh? Wow, metal would be hard to mix. So many loud sounds need to sound balanced. Did you need to have a portfolio be, uh, before you began charging? That, uh, definitely. Uh, 
recommend SoundCloud. You recommend SoundCloud is twelve dollars per month for unlimited uploads. Most podcasts I mix for, dude, for sure, I'll do it for twelve dollars a month. I thought it might have been like way more. Uh, most podcasts I mix for upload once a month, but you stream uh, two plus times a week through SoundCloud. I can distribute you to iTunes, Spotify, and lots of other platforms, brother. Done deal. Uh, let me know what I need to do. I do have a SoundCloud account, uh, but it's not monetized, of course, right? Uh, because I, I just listen to music there and listen to podcasts there, right? So I could kick that up and to join it for $12 and then go ballistic. Google Escherbath is really mathy, in my opinion, just with words. Uh, society of minds is a composition of essays so it's a less of a narrative i think it makes it a little easier to read oh really yeah guru ashrabath was loopy i would have to i would read a paragraph like five times and then i would go oh wow that's what he means and then i would have to flip back like five pages and read those five pages again and i, and I understood it differently than the first time i read it and then i would get to that paragraph read that i go oh that makes sense and then read a couple of pages and hit another paragraph and read that a few times and I go oh blah, blah, and then have to go back again so I did iterations right it was beautiful it was beautiful what a mind uh, it, it, I loved it even though I never finished the book Chicho did you by any chance catch the Joe Rogan Edward Stoner interview I'd love to hear your take on it I, I listened to very short segments of it that interview came out at the same time when the Assange stuff was breaking with him going to, uh, you know, being in, put in court and all the stuff was happening in South America. So I got caught up in that news cycle. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. It is in on my to watch list, but it's on the back burner, I guess. I meant to say most podcasts uploads once a week. Most podcasts upload once a week. Okay. Ah. Oh. Grotezel is an interesting guy. Minsky is basically like the Isaac Newton of AI. Oh, really? Uh, he basically invented the field. Really? Hotmik, can you please post his name in our Discord page or something from him that I we could watch? Uh, that I could have a have a watch and get a feel for it? Or post uh, post it in the book section in the heavy topics. Uh, the book you recommended, which was Society of the Mind. And uh, at the, the, the least I'll do, I'll at least pick it up and have it. And if I don't read it right away, having a book club would be fantastic to read that. Man, that would be amazing. And even just do readings of it. I wouldn't mind doing readings of it. Uh, I did a reading of uh, uh, Education and Significance uh, of Life. Whoa, just Google SPM. The guy got sentenced for 45 years. Yeah, right. Now check this out. Check this out. Since we're on the topic, right? 45 years for what he did, right? Epstein, who didn't kill himself, right? Epstein, in his first sentence, got less than a year in minimum security with day furloughs where he could go do, continue doing his thing. The US justice system is not just, right? Mm -mm -mm. After my freshman year in university, I came to Denmark to spend the summer with my grandparents. Google Escher Bath was the only book I brought. It took me the entire summer so many days spent in my grandparents basement trying to grasp it <laughs> okay awesome you're gonna post it on me thank you yeah i spent the summer reading google lesher bot i got to a page 105 i was reading other things at the same time too so it wasn't just that so i had a handful of books going and google lesher bot was my in the summertime sitting under the light in the tree or something just reading or on the couch or at night it, beautiful experience beautiful experience beautiful experience love guru lesher bach right love guru lesher bach and it's 
this book here. The book I was reading it on was a different book. This one is a newer book. This book right here. Right? I have to read it again from page one. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> hey, Chicho. Uh, Colin Rain, bit off topic, but has anyone asked you about your thoughts on the Don Cherry controversy yet? Uh, you know what I heard in the background where he, he turned to... Uh, I don't know exactly what he said, so I'm going to paraphrase. I heard that he told people who are immigrants to wear poppies right something like that correct me if i'm wrong um i i personally have never liked don cherry so but i haven't really been into hockey uh i was more i don't like the fighting in hockey right i don't i don't like the commodification of hockey but the, all sports are commodified uh, i've never really liked don cherry and i and i lived in ontario for like five years and it was a big you know big celebrity there and stuff like this sure all right i won't press you if you you're not really all that aware of the situation he's he is who he is like i don't know what why people are so upset about it i mean i don't think don cherry has ever pretended to be anything else i don't, I don't think he's pretended to be an intellectual i don't think he's pretended to be, to be politically correct not that you should be politically correct I don't i don't think anybody needs to be politically correct right uh they can be whoever they want to be and don cherry is don cherry right i i i don't i don't prescribe to this pc culture and demonizing people who misspeak or don't understand uh the language changes that are taking place in our societies and stuff i just not a fan of don cherry i don't he means nothing to me right metal is challenging but a very fun challenge i love being aggressive with the mixing i don't have any education just a high school diploma and years of experimentation i've got all my work through word of mouth and recommendations from current clients the deeper my portfolio got the higher i charged i've tripled my rate from eight years ago not a bad raise awesome bear records fantastic right and by the way what bear records saying is exactly what i what i've done through teaching mathematics i don't have my teaching certificate i just have bachelor's in geophysics and minor in mathematics and i and i can honestly tell you i didn't know mathematics when i started teaching mathematics because i didn't know the answers to the questions why why students were asking me these things right so it was just by working and doing that i learned how to teach and as bear records says just so you guys know when i started tutoring 18 years ago i was charging 15 dollars an hour right and i would tell my students straight up look i'm just new to tutoring i'm here to be your learning partner i'll learn i'll find your answers for you and i learned i learned i learned now i charge a lot more right the snowden rogan was surreal to have someone confirm lots of conspiracy theories cell phone recordings us the patriot act and much more yeah uh bear bear records um bears records um just to let you know i followed stone snowden's work for a long time right i wrote articles here here's one that i wrote uh about snowden uh da -da 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 um, it's just a short one. I wrote about him in the past as well. Chicho. Da -da 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 um, and it's uh, privacy. Uh, so let me get this straight. So, okay, here, check this out. And I'll read you this because this is also related to Evo Morales. What's going on in Bolivia? Should I read you guys this? Anyway, let me give you the link right let me give you the link Boop. so i called this article uh so let me get this straight we fast track renditions but hunt down whistleblowers on presidential planes right uh you guys can read through it if you want 
Okay. And it was about uh, Snowden. I hope it was about Snowden. Yeah, it was about Snowden. God, I hope was, I linked you guys to the right article. Because one of the videos, I think, is that Snow... Yeah, Edward Snowden. Okay. So I follow... I know about Snowden's reveals. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Should I read it? Okay, I'll read it to you guys. Uh, da -da -da -da. Post it. Nice. Thanks, Oddmick. Political correctness is generally uh, generally incorrect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm not much of a fan of the man either, but the situation of one poorly phrased uh, live broadcast being interpreted in the worst way leading to an immediate fire. Did he get fired after 38 years? is quite scary. The PC police are in uh, complete control. Uh, Colin, I agree with you 100%. I didn't realize he was fired. That's ridiculous, right? This is, that's, by the way, I'm going to use the F word. That's fascism, right? You don't toe the party line. This is what you can say now. You don't say this. If you do say this stuff, you're out, right? That's crazy. That's centralization of uh, control, uh, central control, right? That's crazy. I think the track to reading the uh, Gul Eshrabath is that uh, the trick to reading Gul Eshrabath is that when you... Uh, in inevitably get a recursive passage you don't understand no matter how much time you spent simply nigh and move on i didn't move on i wish i had admic i wish i had i got into the routine of reading 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 and then going back and reading reading and then oh yeah da -da 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 i got stuck in a loop so i only read up to 100 page five but i probably read 300 pages <laughs> because i kept on going back <laughs> should i read you this bears records let me read you this okay here's an article i wrote and this was in 2013 and if you know what's going on in bolivia you're gonna get a feel for what's going on in bolivia okay and i provided the link uh title of the article so let me get this straight we fast track renditions but hunt down whistleblowers on presidential planes and i have a lot of quotes here okay quote the cia was granted permission to use rendition to the u.s of in in indicted uh terrorists indicted terrorists in a presidential directive signed by u.s president bill, bill clinton in 1995 following a procedure established by u.s president george hw bush in january 1993 end quote i'm not going to put the quotes in there anymore i'm just going to read the whole thing some of it is my words some of it is referencing articles to be fair, not finishing Guru Lashra Bath because you got caught in a loop is the most appropriate way to not finish a book about strange loops. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Uh, so continuing on with the article. This program kicked into high gear under Bush Jr. after 9-11 and continued to this day under the Obama, Obama administration. Uh, quote again. According to U.S. Congress report 2008, up to 14,000 people may have been victims of rendition and secret detention since 2001. Some, some reports estimate there have been twice as many. The U.S. admits to have captured more than 80,000 prisoners in its war on terror, end quote. The map below shows the countries involved in fast-tracking rendition, rendition flights helping to transport U.S. captives to secret prisons, black sites across the globe, uh, condemning innocent men, women, and children to confinement, torture, and death. To the best of my knowledge, not a single rendition flight was ever grounded or searched. And yet, European countries... <clears throat> European countries, uh, specifically France, Spain, Portugal, and Italy, held the had the audacity to deny passage of Evo Morales' Bolivian presidential plane over suspicion that whistleblower Edward Snowden was potentially aboard. Uh, 
To put this into perspective, this would be equivalent to denying passage to Air Force One while it was tr uh, transporting Obama because another country thought that one of their citizens might be on board. Absurd, and yet Western mainstream media is treating this as if it was just a simple mistake, an embarrassment of sorts. And then there's a video of Evo Morales that I've linked up, right? right? And the video is, um, anyway, you can watch that. As Malcolm X warned us in his Otterburn Ballroom speech in Harlem in December 13th, 1964, quoting Malcolm X now the press is so powerful in its image making role it can make a criminal look like he's the victim and make the victim look like he's the criminal this is the press in an irresponsible press if you aren't careful the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing to help put the above events into the appropriate light specifically on how they relate to how WikiLeaks and Julian Assange and whistleblowers like uh, Jessalyn Radak, uh, Thomas Andrew Drake, William Beeney, Bradley Manning, and Edward Snowden are being treated and portrayed by the U.S. government and the majority of Western mainstream media. Below you will find a special doc, uh, docu documentary democracy now segment from a 2007 event on how the pentagon papers came to be published by the beacon press as told by daniel esberg mike gravel and robert west the panel highlights the depths to which criminals will go to to hide their crimes and stifle dissent emphasis added and it's emphasis added by me and the link goes to the democracy now segment and here i'll read the democracy now i took out sections of this thing okay so the rest of this is quote from i forget who was speaking at this point i'm, I'm assuming it was Ellsberg. okay quote 41 years ago beacon press lost the supreme court case brought against it by the u.s government for publishing the first full edition of the pentagon papers it is now well known how the new york times first published excerpts of the top secret documents in june 1971 but less well known is how the beacon press a small non-profit publisher affiliated affiliated with the unitarian universalist association came to publish the complete 7,000 pages that exposed the true history of u.s involvement in vietnam their publication led to the beacon press into led the beacon press into a spiral of two and a half years of harassment intimidation near bankruptcy and possibly of criminal prosecution this is a story that has rarely been told in its entirety the relevance of our experience those 35 years ago to uh, secrecy and deception in government today is patently obvious for example three of the issues and the principles that were involved in our court uh, actions were misuse of power of the justice justice department invasion of privacy and misuse of conspiracy by the government all of those clearly apply to what is happening today in his 1972 dissent, dissenting opinion in the gravel case supreme court justice douglas douglas said quote the story of the pentagon papers is a chronicle of the suppression of vital decisions to protect the reputation and political hides of men who work an amazing amazingly successful scheme of deception on the american people end quote and he went on to say in that decision that he had no choice but to hold that uh, hold, hold that it was the government that is lawless not the press in 1971 senator gravel wrote quote the pentagon papers show that we have created a new culture protected from the influence of american life by the shield of secrecy okay so that's something i put out in 2013 very relevant today very relevant today especially if you consider what happened to evo morales in the last couple of weeks in the last few days okay and what has happened with edward snowden and what's going on with julian assange and other whistleblowers okay 
I've had the suspicion that political correctness is a 21st century version of the Salem witch trials. 100% agree with you. 100% agree. It's brutal. It's brutal, right? Like, for example, I've been told on Twitch we can't use the R word. So I'm changing my vocabulary. In person, no, I'm still using the R word. But during the live streams and videos now, I'm going to start using the word simpleton and I hope that's allowed <laughs> right YouTube is kicking people off their platform right sheep language it's control it's it's centralization language right if there is centralization of power and a handful of institutions organizations or government control the the means of communication, then it's not really sheep language. It's language of the center of central power. And if they can change the language of a society, they control that society, right? If they can say what we can speak about and how we can use words, they, they control us. That is the relationship and it is related to what we're talking about right now. That is the relationship that is being built and has been being been built between citizens of a country and the centralized institutions. We have to change that relationship. It is an abusive relationship. It is a destructive relationship, and it only leads to more misery for all of us. Right. Hence my work here. That is one, that is the main reason I got into writing articles like this and articles like this that I started writing in 2005. That is the main reason that I got into doing videos, teaching mathematics, talking about the stuff. That is the main reason that I got into live streaming and having these open discussions. We need to have free flowing information communication. Okay. It is essential. That is the reason I'm putting in so much time and energy into this really okay aside from loving it and it lets me sleep at night soundly and when i wake up i excited to do to work to create to sh to read what's happening and interpret what's happening and share that information to the best of my abilities it's so damning that the u.s students aren't taught about the pentagon papers and other whistleblowers the government perpetuates a nationalistic narrative so as to enforce a u.s versus them whistleblower the dissenters cultural war agreed Otnik. agreed i feel like the content or message isn't what's at stake whether some conform, uh, conforms or not the standard uh not to the standard uh in what's at stake is what's at stake do you want to be the sacrificial lamb the people want blood totally agree yeah i'm gonna read that sentence again like, because i mucked it up right so bears records I feel like the content or message isn't what's at stake. Whether some conforms or not to the standards is what's at stake. Do you want to be the sacrificial lamb? The people want blood. Yeah. And what we need to do is to calm people down and make them realize that we don't have to spill blood. We just have to talk. We need to proactively seek the truth not expected from other societies yeah that's really beautiful man we need to proactively seek the truth not expected from other societies 100 percent right crazy what's going on in the world it's the relationship factor right what is the relationship between relationship that we have with each other between ourselves and people that are outside of the circle that we have right now relationship between us and corporations between us and central in indoctrination education centers between us and the state right between us and centralized religious institutions we have to question it all we have to question it all and we will
and we will <laughs> right and we are and we are through pomegranate videos and comic book videos and math videos and live streams and whatnot right we will should we call the stream gang let's call the stream thanks for being here gang very much appreciate it pomegranate anarchy eat the seeds eat the seeds you know how many people have had commenting saying they didn't know they they could eat the seeds right so if they never saw that video they wouldn't have known how to eat the seeds they would have kept on spitting the seeds out until they saw that video now according to youtube would that <laughs> would that <laughs> how do you not eat the seeds? people so many people they said they would spit out the seeds I'm so glad to be here. Awesome, awesome. See you, Chicho. Wondering what to have for breakfast. Yogurt and pomegranate seeds. <laughs> oh, fun. Anyway, I'm going off on rants. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic next few days. Maybe pomegranates. What if I had any? Yeah. They're not... Actually, they're making their way into the stores now in my part of the world. They're still expensive. I wait until... The main rush comes in and just go ballistic for a few weeks. What's been my most successful? Um, the mathematics, the comic books, and uh, the food stuff. And the beards. The beards too. There's a select. I got to put more beer videos out there. I just haven't. But the ASMR math, the comic books, and the food stuff. Those are the three that are the most successful. Uh, the ones that people go to the most right my pleasure dolphin my pleasure x thanks for popping in thanks for popping in uh bears records uh, we, let me know what you want to deal with first messing around with the audio or me setting up soundcloud so we can load things on and we can load them on as if they're podcasts if you let me know send me a message i'll get on it okay i'll get on it hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic evening i'll be around when you're ready okay let me know which one you want to start off with first i'll leave it up to you okay i'm ready to go whenever you are <laughs> bye everyone